this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to try flying the uh, run cam on here on the uh, the Spark. So we still got a little bit of a wind. It's better than the other try. This is also about 40 grams lighter. So I believe I got the camera running on there. I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to try to get uh, the camera running on the quad. I think we got it running. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to do anything too crazy with it. Um, because the last time that I flew this with the 3D camera, notice how the wind is buffeting it. This really is uh, not, not taking too well to the wind. So when I did my first test flights, I know you can see the trees over there. I got like a good six mile an hour gust. So this is really fighting the, uh, the wind. And so I'm just going to again take it out, do some basic flight, basic flight with this, and uh, nothing really too big. Just kind of yaw it around here, just kind of experiment with it. It's definitely responding a bit better with this than the 3D camera, but it's again it's 40 grams lighter. Now one of the things with this is. Um, uh, with this camera is keep in mind that 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 bolt that that bolt is uh, actually 12 grams I'm not sure what this is complaining about whoa it wants to go down to the ground again it's struggling with this wind a bit uh, when I did my first test there was no wind and so uh, but now with this wind it's really having an impact with that extra, you know, uh, 60 grams on there. I'm thinking if I can get the, the weight on this down a little bit, uh, that would be a good thing. I think, again, th this is at the upper limit because, again, this thing's only about 300 grams or three 400 grams. I can't remember what. You know, so it's lifting, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, pretty close to a third of its own weight. And the, the last time when the battery got low, it couldn't fight the wind to return home. So, and it just decided to land itself where it was. Uh, so, I, again, I'm just kind of flying this around kind of cool because I don't know what it's going to do. And again, it's still, I mean, I still got quite quite a bit of wind or breeze, you know, probably a good three to six mile an hour gusts. Well, one, one of the things it wants to do is really, uh, really rise because... I don't know if you've seen it go up. I'm pulling the stick down to keep it from rising a little bit. Once it hits the wind, it really wants to go up. And then when it comes down, it really wants to go down. That wind is really having an effect on it. So I don't know if you can hear the wind. It's sort of gusting up. I'm not sure what this is exactly is complaining about, but it's complaining about something. So I want to bring this back a little bit towards me. So again, it wants to it wants to rise a little bit. Now I haven't seen this behavior before. Out of it, um, but notice the battery depletion. That's why I'm and dropped out of the screen record, or not the screen record. Sorry, the the video camera. And again. So it's definitely holding it, but I think again this is this is too much weight for it. It did really well with the 808, uh, but uh, you know now the 808 I think was what about 28 grams, so it was it was you know good half of the weight of this. Uh, also that mounts a little bit more to hold the extra weight. And again I don't know if you can see the the grass how it's blowing. We got a, a pretty good wind. 
So I'd be a little bit cautious with this. Um, you know, definitely you could have problems due to at your own risk. Uh, I think, you know, again, if lightening up that bolt, taking 12 grams out of it with a little lighter camera, you know, might be a little bit uh, better opportunity. But it is, the, the, you know, it just goes to show, though, how amazing that this little copter is to be able to, you know, lift such a weight. And again, uh, if it was so windy, I think it would do a little bit better. But again, one has to be very cautious because, again, now I'm already running into a low battery state. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, land this. Okay. So there we go. So we successfully flew it with the uh, uh, run cam. I think it performed in one way a little bit better than it did with the... Uh, uh, 3D cam or in the 3D, I keep calling it a 3D camera. Uh, with the uh, uh, 360 degree camera, but you know, again, this is a good 40 grams less. That bolt on there too that secures it. Again, that's the standard GoPro uh, bolt. Uh, again, at 12 grams, that's pretty heavy. So again, I think you could lighten this up quite a bit. Uh, and I think if you got it down. To, you know another 20 grams or so performance would be a whole lot better but again do this at your own risk i don't recommend it uh, i'm sure this voids every warranty on this copter uh you know and again don't do it around people or anything if you are going to experiment no matter what you experiment with because you really don't know how it's going to perform so uh and, and that's one of the reasons i come out here because there's nobody out here so if something happens if i've got to ditch it or something like that I got a pretty good size area to do it and no one around that's going to be hurt. So anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, let me know what uh, you're having for lunch. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button over there. Uh, follow me on Thingiverse. And hey, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.